Good afternoon everyone, it's uh, 4.20 here in the UK, uh, this uh, market bottom that uh, I've been looking for uh, is uh, still a long way away. Uh, this is Vectorvest USA running in real time and as you can see today uh, the number of declines significantly greater than the number of advances. The uh, short term trend on Vectorvest is down, the underlying trend is down, the underlying trend has been confirmed by price action. And uh, we've got a red light in the color guard showing that the price is down day over day and week over week. And Vectorvest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time. Uh, the market is in a mega oversold situation, uh, but uh, as many of you will know, it can stay mega oversold uh, for quite a long time. I've got a chart of the uh, intraday action. That's a five minute chart of the Dow Jones, in fact. And uh, as you can see, the downtrend uh, is uh, maintained. A little bit of a spurt at the moment now, but in the past, these haven't come to anything. So uh, a day to sit and wait uh, and do nothing. There was uh, Those of you that are intraday traders would have had a quite a nice little short here. That support becoming resistance outside bar uh, if you've got the stomach for trading a five-minute chart. I did a video on uh, US stocks a few days ago and I would like to do the same thing uh, for the UK uh, today. So uh, if we look at the UK market we can see uh, a pretty much similar situation. Primary wave down, underlying trend is down, underlying trend confirmed by price action. Vectorvest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time. 59 shares in the buy, a whopping 1,700 on a sell. The buy-sell ratio as low as I can remember it at 0 0.03. The MTI at 0 0.3 in a mega oversold situation, similar to the US, but uh, as we all know, they can stay mega oversold for quite a long time. Nevertheless, a turn will come. And I assure you that when it does come, uh, that fear will turn into greed in about 30 minutes. It is my view. Uh, that in both countries we should be looking for shares with exceptionally strong balance sheets. And on Vectorvest it's quite easy to find those. If I go to viewers and uh, I just want to go to the stock viewer. That's the stock viewer folks. And what I've done is that I've resorted all of the shares on the London stock market by our proprietary measure relative safety. And that brings shares with the best combination of safety of earnings to the top of the pile. Uh, it looks at the balance sheet, the income statement, the cash flow statement over the last few years, computes all the financial ratios and finds stocks with the best and the safest track record of making money. Those shares invariably pay a dividend and they've got a good history of growing that dividend uh, and uh, increasing that dividend annually. Right at the top of the pile, uh, we've got Avon Rubber. It's got a relative safety on a scale between 0 and 2 of 1.51. Anything above 1.3 is excellent. This is an outstanding number. Uh, JD Sports is there. Games Workshop is there. Diploma is there. And I've gone through these stocks, folks, and I've come up with a watch list of shares that I will be personally be watching. And I have to make it very clear that although these shares are suitable for me, they may not be suitable for you. But uh, nevertheless, these are stocks that have got an impeccable history of making money. And they're deeply oversold. If the market bounces, I think these shares will do very well. I've put them into a watch list. If I click on watch list viewer and have a look at this watch list, there they are. Avon Rubber, Lion Trust, JD Sports, etc. And as you can see, the relative safety is all above 1.4 on a scale between 0 and 2. These shares have all got a, a superb track record of making money and all the financial ratios are getting better. Uh, I think these are companies that will be, uh, be able to handle two or three months of poor sales and come out of this with enough cash to acquire companies uh, that have struggled during this period. And I've charted these uh, in a separate window. Which, there's Avon Rubber, folks. Now, it's a, I'm looking at a five-year track record here. And I particularly like the way Avon Rubber's come back and kiss that old top. Uh, and... Uh, uh, 
it's bounced off that old top that resistance has become support and if I draw in uh, a fib from that level to that level we can see that that low is also 62 percent so we've got a nice in fact a uh, confluence of support there uh, if uh, the general market turns then I think that even rubble will do exceptionally well it's already uh, come up from that level uh, uh, so that's something for you to look at land trust asset management folks has come back kiss the old top I'll take the fib out for a second so you can see the wood for the trees as you can see there's the earnings per share growing uh, over the last five years gone from 20 pence to 70 pence we've got a strong support line in place we've got the old resistance becoming support and support again and uh, if I were to draw my fib from these lows up to that high we can see that there's a 78% retracement coming in there. So we've got this three ways of, in fact, confluence, support and resistance. If I ever do a book on my trading, a swing trading techniques, that'll have to go in there. That's a classic example. JD Sports is that support. Uh, and uh, although it uh, come back a little bit today, I believe it's still well above that three pounds level. I think that if the market does turn, then this can actually double in any form of rally but I have to make it very clear folks that the probabilities in my humble opinion favor this as being a bear market rally bear market rallies when they get going can be high momentum affairs and both in the UK and in the US we could quite easily make our uh, my annual uh, objective in this bear market rally let's go a little bit further uh, Games Workshop, again, this beautiful uh, three-way method of, 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 of a confluence. This support level, old high, and the 78% retracement. Look at that earnings per share. Okay. Uh, Marshalls, a little worried that this has got a little... It stopped uh, last week. The low was at that 61% retracement. It ran the lows under here. Maybe that's enough. Uh, but I have an inkling suspicion that it could easily blip back to five pounds before this is over. We're watching it, uh, but it's certainly on my radar. Uh, this is uh, Churchill China, uh, and uh, again, look at that earnings per share. It's come right back into this range, broke the 78% retracement, broke the long term trend line, uh, but uh, certainly if I saw it consolidating around uh, uh, 10 pounds, I would be interested in the share. Diploma, again, we've got this three-way method of uh, support and resistance. Uh, old high, trend line, and top support. A 78% retracement was the close last week. I'd be interested in that around those levels when the dust has settled. Halma. Well, Halma, uh, I have an inkling suspicion that it could blip down towards the £16 level. But I love the share. Look at that earnings per share growth. Uh, and uh, maybe it's run enough stops down here uh, to generate enough liquidity. But uh, it could easily be calling on £16 before this is over. That's the GB group again. Uh, we've got this confluence of this old trend line and that 78% retracement. Look at the earnings per share growth. So this uh, is half a dozen shares that I'm looking at, folks. Uh, they've got a, a excellent in fact more than excellent value for relative safety and uh, the relative safety finds those shares with exceptionally strong balance sheets automatically with no heavy lifting uh, of doing accounting uh, that's the type of share that I think you should be focusing on uh, in both the UK and the USA uh, and uh, sitting watching the front page of VectorVest waiting uh, for a uh, uh, a change in direction which certainly did not come today the 23rd of March and uh, if we look at the uh, five minute chart again it's doing its best to get up but my word it's got a long way to go before uh, we see a turning point here all the metrics are down I'll keep these videos uh, coming and I'll we'll spot uh, when the general market does turn I hope you find this useful thank you bye bye